What's up, you guys? It's me, Henry Simer, back with another video. Okay, this is. This and is me, Cohen, Cohen Lofton. Oh, yeah. Get the oh, yeah. last name in there. Get, yeah. Go and uh, follow his uh, Instagram or whatever. Okay, so mowing these properties gets to be a little bit much, but we're mowing here. It's Friday morning. Okay, so we got this is my KM 111R. Cohen just decided to buy a new trimmer. This is the Echo SRM 320. T or 2320T. So this is a this is a pretty pretty good I would say trimmer. It's a bit it's bigger than the SRM 226i. So it it has some power. Um obviously this KM 111 is the second biggest trimmer that steel makes. So it gets heavy. Alright, Cohen. Alright, so Cohen. You like this trimmer? You like how light it is? Oh, yeah. Is it is it lighter than? Yeah, it's lighter than the other one there. Yeah. And that one? Pretty you like heavy. Pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean, it still cuts good. Yep. But it's, I like this one a lot better than. Well, you haven't even used it for. I mean, look at it; it's still clean. You just bought it. I know. <laughs> but... You you like the Darwin's grip though? Yeah, I do like the the grip. Yeah, so I mean these are fifty dollars. I this is the version one, which is like the cheapest one, but you can't swip them, sw swip swap them out very easily. But they're pretty nice. I mean, so this trimmer is at a price point of like three fifty, um, and then the trimmer attachment is a hundred dollars, and then that is one. Or 50 bucks so we're looking at 450 for this trimmer and this trimmer how much do you pay for that one i paid about 290 for it 290 after tax okay oh, yeah. cool so like 250 probably two, 269 probably msrp right for that yeah all right we're gonna get a couple um videos of cohen trimming this fence here real quick and then uh we'll end the video here but uh See how the steel works? I mean, we hit, I took the guard off of this SR, the the steel. Cohen doesn't, he likes the guard, right? Not bad. Yeah. Right. First pull, huh? Oh yeah. Okay. So, tr trim around the fence here. I don't know, just. This is the ugly line on there. that he's gonna rip up the plastic on the it's good you feel like you have some good open power on that yeah <laughs> all right truck a little bit <laughs> all right now make sure it's on the stir position oh yeah okay first ball on the echo So I guess Cohen likes the uh, Echo a little, a little better. I mean, I like my steels, obviously. Been running steels forever now. I had a little Black & Decker when I started. You probably start with electric trimmer too, right? Plug-in? No? no? You just got a gas right away? Yeah. Yeah, lucky duck. <laughs> I I used to have the cord and I had to bring it around the house and then find an outlet on a new house or whatever. That was for I think half a season and I decided to buy the cam 56 and I only trimmed like once a month if I ever would trim I trim like once a month so I I got as close as possible with the push mower but yeah now it's now you gotta have a trimmer in this type of game game because the trimmers are reasonable price you know there's a lot out of uh, you know there's a good supply and it's you know 2022 so usually there's no supply on stuff like you know 
things like this, but steel and echo, they're all made in the US, so. Or I think steel might be made in the Canada or Germany or whatever, but most of them, are, I think echo is made, made in uh, Michigan or something, so. They're pretty good trimmers. Uh, yeah, Cohen, we'll have to give a, maybe a year review on that trimmer. That's when oh, uh, yeah. you put some work in it. Maybe you want to take the guard off eventually if you want more string on the trimmer. I mean, usually, so. So basically, Cohen's has this small guard, right? So your insurance claims, if you break a window and it's, they know you're trimming, they're gonna ask if you have your guard on your trimmer and you say no, whatever, right? But this is the Black Diamond uh, trimmer line. I had some of this, but I ran out, you know, so. But you got some spools of it, but. Anyways, so if you take the guard off, instead of like six inches or so of trimmer line, so this is probably a 12 inch swath. With the guard off, I can get maybe like a 16 inch swath. That's basically like a push mower swath, almost. So it's kind of nice, but it does bog down your engine. I just noticed that Jason Creel and Brian Zalman, they already made a video on, do you leave the guard on and stuff? It's crazy because I, I'm literally gonna make a video on that because I took the guard off of my trimmer and I, and I love having the guard off now. I used to hate it because I thought it was just showing a sign of rebellion to take the safety stuff off. But now I kind of think of it as a time saver. You know, this is a lot, lot longer than what's on Cohen's trimmer right now. And yeah, you do get some rocks to the, to the shin or whatever, but it's, it's pretty normal to get stuff flinged in your face with a guard on, so what, whatever, right? I do have a edger attachment that I put on here, but I only put that on um, when I have clients that want edging, and if they want edging, I only do it once a month. So those are the people that, you know, like go to golf courses and all those places that they see pristine lawns. So I want them pristine also. So I usually edge with a trimmer um, and I notice the guard being on there, being off, off, it helps a little bit. Edging, you can go in different areas and different, but with the Darwin's grip, it does get in the way with the edging, flip edging. So I tend to not do it as much as I used to without the Darwin's grip, but Anyways, all right, let's wrap this up. Cohen, what do you say? See you later. See you later. Bye. Sayonara. Sayonara.